Hiya folks, we were a little bit tired today because Take pity on us. last night was our camping night in the garden. We slept in our tent overnight, so today we're going to keep it simple, Sharon, aren't we? We just want to do something simple. What is it? Burgers and chips. Burger and chips, home cook style. Butler Empire style. Butler Empire style, baby. Yeah. Right, what happened last night then? It rained from the time, well, before we got in there. In the tent? Yeah. You can see that on our Sunday vlog, people. And still at half past four in the morning, it's still raining, but I needed a cup of tea. Yeah, and a wee wee. And a wee wee. Well, I originally got up for a wee wee. Anyway, they can see that on Sunday's vlog. Right, let's have a look what we've got here. So we've opted for some um, sliced seeded burger buns here. We've got some cheese which has got uh, chilies chili, in chili cheese yeah we've got a selection of lettuce items in other words lettuce salad items well, cucumber, cucumber jalapenos onions tomato martin likes bacon in a burger yeah our burgers and we're gonna go the old way get the fryer out and do some fried chips for change yeah these are bake or fry so we're just using to use our deep fat fryer just for the sake of because we're lazy because we're lazy yeah Anyway, let's get going, baby. Right, so what we're going to do, folks, we're, rather than just cook these burgers as they are, we're going to flatten them out just to fill the bun out a bit. What they do you will mean? Smash them. Smash burgers, shall we? But we won't be smashing them viciously. We're just going to... Um, oh, they come out in shoes. I didn't know that, shall I thought I was going to have to rip that. We're too tired. To we're smash. too tired. <laughs> it was a long night, folks, but in actual fact, it was quite was nice in there. yeah. Quite nice in there. Now, you're going to be having... We have washed our hands, by the way, just yeah. to let you know. I didn't want to go in the pot. Now, these are quarter pounder burgers, Sharon, aren't yeah. they? But as you can see, folks, when you see them, they are actually quite small, although they're quite thick, but we like to just spread them out a bit. And don't forget, before you put them on there, just get a little bit of olive oil. We always shake it up so it comes out of these sprouts a little bit easier. So just slide it, just put some olive oil on your, on your, cook, on your surface. Get your burger, literally just fold it in half and you cook, this is what makes a burger a smash burger, apparently. But we're just going to press it down. Some, some people do it in the frying pan or, or the hot plate, and they put, bash it down with a, the, 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 the spatula, Sharon? Yeah. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to do it like that. And it works, as you can see, folks, just as well. And that's how easy it comes off the paper. In fact, so. that looks like the squat pans as you get in McDonald's. Yeah, and that's the thing. With a McDonald's burger, if you're trying to replicate a McDonald's yeah. burger, you want them like that thin, so that's the best way to do them. I'm just going to put that one on there for now. I'll do one more for you, just to show you how easy they are. Now, normally we'd buy um, butcher's burgers, but um, these were on offer in um, Tesco's, weren't it, Sharon? Morrison's. Morrison's, rather. We just say the other day. Yeah, we don't normally shop in Morrison's, but we did it on this occasion. We saw these, we knew we was going to be doing the burgers, so we just thought that we'd bring these to you as well, because not everyone's got access to a local butcher. No. And there you go, they spread out quite nicely. Right, I'm going to do the rest of these, then I'll come back to you. Let's give it a little spray as well. Right, so we're going to be doing these in the cassori, folks. Sharon's taking the um, crisper tray out, so she just put a little bit of oil in there. And as you can see, they're quite big. You probably do a couple at a time, Sharon, yeah. wouldn't you? Because they will shrink up, but obviously um, they are quite big. You might get three in there. Yeah, I think I can get three. Yeah, they are quite big. Yeah. There you go, so we get three in there. Yeah. One will be a double burger, one will be a single burger. So we're just going to put that in because I've touched the meat. Of course you have, Sharon. Let me help you out. I don't I think... wish to offend anybody. No, but I tell you what, Sharon, people think that I only, I, I only do the talking. No, you don't. You do a lot more than that. Thank you. Who does all the editing? All the, all the... He does everything. I literally just do this. What yeah. are you see me do now? That is all I do. He does everything else. Yeah, I've had a few people have a go at me, Sharon, saying, you let Sharon do all the work. All no, he does is no, the talking. I do. Nothing really compared to mine. Oh, Sharon. No, and I don't. You, I can't do it without you, baby. We're team. Right, let's put that in then. We'll switch that on. We'll treat them like sausages. Yeah, we'll put it on for 200. Yeah. And we'll put that on for 12 minutes. And we may turn them halfway, depending uh, if you want to. This is a dual blaze, we shouldn't need to, but we'll play it by ear. Right, Sharon, so we've got this little deep fat fryer, folks. This is up to 180 degrees centigrade. We got this originally from Argus, brilliant little Yeah, only, only cheap, so... Um, I do my scotch eggs in it and yeah. all that. And it doesn't take long to um, heat up at all, so if you want that old chip shop fries or McDonald's fries type um, flavour, and deep frying is obviously the way to go. That is olive oil in there, though. I have only got olive oil in there, no other fats. Yeah, and before anyone says it, Olive oil has got a lower melting point than something like lard, for example, 
and we never heat it above 180 degrees centigrade. We don't heat it till it smokes. When you put any oil and heat it till it smokes, then it turns into little nasty stuff. So never heat your oil till it smokes. So we're gonna put a few sheets of bacon in our Ninja tray. This is uh, just general bacon folks, it's nothing special. And again, we're gonna put this on for sort of 180 to 200 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes and that's probably gonna be enough. And you know whose job that is? Mine. <laughs> so again, just on the air fry set in there, 200 degrees and the time, 10 minutes. There you go, that's doing its thing and we will turn that over about halfway. Right, the beauty of doing burgers folks is that you can actually put any sauce or any combination of whatever you want. So when you cut everything up like this, you can build your ones as you want. Sharon likes a bit of a plain burger, but uh, it's entirely up to her, so she's just putting her stuff on the way she wants it. Right, and that's all you want, baby? So I think I just have the burger on the top. I don't like too much in a burger. And then I put my spicy sauce on the top. And that's it, you happy with that? Yeah. Right, okay folks, I'm a little bit different. I want a bit of squirty mayo on the bottom bun. So, you down there, baby? Come down here, come nearer, come nearer. Let's see what I've got. So I want a bit of that down there. And I also want a bit of sriracha, Sharon, on that lower bun as well. Yeah? Then I'm gonna go on with my lettuce, so I'm just gonna break it up. I don't like it overhanging too much. Like that. Bit of the old cucumber. Again, this is gonna be, not a sloppy burger, shower, but just a bit loaded. I'm gonna go in with the onions, just like that. While I'm doing that shower, on top I'm gonna to put a little bit of spicy mayo as well. Just a little bit, God. like that. And then in with the tomato, just like that, okay? Now, a little bit of jalapeno, or jalapeno, however you wanna pronounce it. I do like quite a bit of that. So I'm going in like that. Right, so that is gonna be the base of it. The cheese will go on my one, that's the way I want it done. And also on the top burger, this is American yellow mustard. Oh, hello. Just like that, and I think I'm happy with that. So that go to one side, just over there. And we're gonna just check the chips now, and we're gonna just check the uh, burgers. Have a look, they're halfway now, so let's turn them over if they need it. Now, can you see how they shrink up, folks? In actual fact, I don't think they're too far for being done, Sharon. Now, you can see how small they've gone, folks. Can I put one of them others in there? Right, let's get one of them others in there, then. Like that. And then whack that back in again. And I think they're basically nearly done. Yeah. You, can you imagine if you wouldn't have actually stretched them burgers out? You saw the difference in size, then, compared to... Well, if we just open it again, look, Sharon. There's a big one. That, they was all that size, so that's, imagine, that's how much they were shrunk up. Just shows how much water's in them. Yeah, we're gonna just check the bacon now. There we go. There's the bacon. Just gonna, just gonna turn them over as well, Sharon. Like that, that's nearly done now. Whack it in. And how's them chips, Sharon? Let's have a little that's look. Done. Look at them, folks, look, in no time at all. So if you do like the um, fries in this way, and we've also got the chips by Sharon, haven't we? Oh, that's lovely, that. So all we do now, Sharon will just give them a bit of a dab on the top. We always put a uh, tissue in the bottom there and just literally pick them up by hand and, and just give them a little jostle, shall we? There you go. So we know they're dry. So on with the chip spice, folks. And again, the art of this stuff is don't forget to flip it and turn it. Get it going all the way through. So just keep turning them. And this means you ain't really got to season them with salt and pepper, shall not it? Because it really does give a nice flavour. Yeah, though. so we got this chip spice. And uh, there we go, I think you can get it anywhere. It's called chip spice. Mm. That's exactly what it is. A lot of shops or restaurants use this now anyway, shall don't they? Yeah. Right, so they're ready to go. I'm gonna get the burger out. I'm gonna get the batter bacon out and then let's build these burgers. Right, okay folks, we've got them burgers out. Sharon's just going to put hers together finally now. Oh, you are going for jalapeno, Sharon. Yeah. How about that? On with the top. And then put whack your old uh, chips on your plate, baby. Again, oh. all come together in one go. So that's yours, Sharon. Can I build mine, baby? Yeah, try not to be too long, so it gets cold. Of course it will. Oh, she just forgot the bacon, Sharon, didn't you? Yeah. Put a couple of bits of bacon on your one, Sharon. No, just want to do me. Just you sure? Yep. Yeah. There is two there for you. No. Do you 
Jimmy right. can have a piece of bacon. Oh, she can. We've got loads more left over here, anyway. That's there you go. Enough. Right, okay. So back over to my one. I'm gonna have two patties in mine, folks. So on goes one. I bet they're not surprised at that, people. Of course they're not. And I'm gonna put the cheese in the middle, another patty on top, Ooh. and then crisscross it with two bits of bacon, folks. Where's my top with my bun? There it is. And that lovely English, uh, American mustard on there. Just like that, folks. Just give it a little press down, just tease it. That's all I'm doing. And I'm gonna whack that on there like that. Look, how quickly is that, folks, for a quick, hot, tasty, takeaway, fake-away lunch? Absolutely superb. Let's, have, let's go in and have a taste. Well, there you go, chow. Nice, simple tea. Didn't take long whatsoever. No, sometimes these are nice, aren't they, these naughty teas? Yeah, a little bit naughty. Just sit in front of the telly while you've got these lovely burgers there, folks. Right, Sharon? In you go, baby. Don't forget, you designed that burger. It's the way you want it. Nice. Just show us a cross section of it. Let's open it up. Let's not open it up. Look at that. Now, what does that look like, folks? That is a lovely quarter pounder burger there. Absolutely fantastic. Not bad burgers either. And try that chips again. Oh, this chips. Just how you like them. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look. Dry, not greasy. Superb. Right. Fluffy. Look how fluffy that is. Can I have a go, shall? Yeah. Come in. Oh, this looks good, folks. This looks really good. I'm going to try these chips. And again, as Sharon says, they're dry and they've got that lovely spice on them. Oh, they're great. I'd pay for them. I would pay for them. I'll give you a bill in a minute then. Hey? I'll give you a bill in right, a minute. Right, let's pick this little monster up, shall I? Watch how big his mouth goes. This, I, I, I might not be able to get me gob around it, shall I? But I'll have I'll a go. i surprised if you can't. Just look at that, folks, look. Use I'll definitely it. pay for that. In we go. So you told you, would. Oh, my God. That, my friends, is a taste sensation. I can taste near enough every ingredient in there. I'm getting the chilli, I can taste the hot cheese, I can taste the jalapenos, the bacon's coming through, the veg is crunchy, which is what it should be. Oh my God. Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame Something quick and simple. Yeah. That didn't take as long to do. Better than any McDonald's, I'm afraid. Oh, there's no patch on it, Sharon. And I that... do like McDonald's, I must say. There's nothing more to say, folks. Cheap ingredients. Your flavour is coming also from the additional stuff, not just the burger. A burger on its own can be quite bland. You need to put something with it, some spices maybe, some sauces, some mayonnaise to lubricate it. For what you like. Mm. So do give it a go and experiment, and I'm sure you will be surprised. So we're going to have this now, and we're going to cook two more, one for Jimmy, one for uh, our granddaughter. And um, Frank. Evie, and baby Frank as well. And we'll, we'll come back to you in the next video. Don't forget, we've got some good stuff coming up. Those of you who want to see our camping expeditions, we've had one night in the tent so far. You'll be seeing that on Sunday. You also wanted to see the tent being put down. You'll see that on Sunday. we also got some more products we're going to be bringing to you. Kasori have sent us a pressure pot or a pressure cooker. Yeah, but they've brought out now. Yeah, which is very good value for money as well. So we'll be run, test running that probably within the next month, in August, I think we're doing that one. And we've also got a few products which we're Can gonna I bring you away. August is next week, love. Exactly. You didn't realise. I did realise, oh, yeah. Did you? Oh yeah, I knew that. And we've also got an electric bike, which we've uh, been harsh, harsh, asked to review as well. We got out there, we're gonna bring that to you as well in a little vlog. And we're gonna go out and do some camping and cooking, all that sort of stuff coming up as well. So do keep tuned, folks. Do hit that subscribe button. It does make a big difference to our channel because it's sort of stagnated at the moment and we're trying to move on up and move on forward. We're heading towards the uh, 61,000 now and uh, we're nearly there and with your help we can get there. So thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video. We're gonna eat this before it goes cold. Bye for now. Someone wants their dinner. Someone wants their dinner, baby Frank. Oh, yeah. <laughs>